Hey there, my name is Brandon, aka Night Owl. You might know me from some of my Clash Royale content where I'm absolutely crushing it on screen. Or you might have seen me in some of my thumbnails. Remind you of anything? Or maybe a few of my more recent ones where I'm pulling out some sick flexes. Are you kidding me with those right now? But I am not here today for any of that kind of stuff. Today, I feel it is my civic duty to help you guys out. Partly my obligation. I feel I really owe it to all the millennials, the zennials, the zennials, the perennials, and really any other ennial out there watching. I have heard we have a problem in our midst. A very unfortunate problem that people are walking around with hydro flasks that they bought off the shelf. With no customization other than a sticker. I mean, <laughs> can you imagine? Are you seriously just walking around with that hydro flask all stock color and everything? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Let me guess. You're just going to put a sticker on it to customize it. And I oop. <laughs> okay. There is a better way. I promise. Today we are going to be taking this here hydro flask and we are going to be hydro dipping it. Giving it the ever so glorious customization that it is always needed. I just want to help you guys achieve the goals that you've never done anything to actually achieve. So... <laughs> That is why I am here. I'm going to show you how to hydro dip this thing and it's really super simple. My Uber driver taught me how to do this while we were driving on the freeway. Dangerous, sure, sure, but I did give him five stars and a fancy tip. So we're going to get right to it. Seven steps. Number one, of course, you're going to want to say goodbye to this boring old humdrum color. One color. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Step goodbye. Step number two, we gotta prime this thing. The hydro flask itself is, it's a nice, nice color, but we gotta make it white for various reasons. And before we do that, we have to clean it off. And so you can use a cloth or anything else that you have lying around. I really like to use a scrunchie. I have a lot laying around for some reason, and it works really nice to get all the dirt and grime off this thing. And sometimes if you really wanna do it really nicely and get a real good, nice, clean shine on it, you can put it up there, just wrap it around the bottle, and then just bring it on down, cleans that whole thing off, and it's completely ready for primer. Step number three, while that thing's drying, you're gonna to wanna to grab a bucket, five gallons preferably, and some water, and you're gonna to wanna to fill this thing up. It's gonna take a while. Hold on a second, I got an idea. That's perfect amount. Okay, good. Step four, the flask is all primed up. It looks good. Now we're gonna paint the water. It sounds weird painting the water, of course, but that's what we're gonna do. Painting is one of the worst parts, obviously, uh, just because it's nerve wracking. You have to get this right or else you screw up the whole project. And a lot of people ask me when you take your Instagram pictures, now would be a great time to do so. So if you wanna take some selfies here, angle down at the water, that's a perfect one. Um, I think maybe even just taking a nice shot of the water would look good as well when we get this all painted up. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, come in here. So a lot of people have asked me when I do this, what do I do with all my scrunchies? And I would say probably the number one thing that you could do with your scrunchies, obviously you could take them off, which isn't really a choice for most people. And if you don't want to take them off, just roll them up and you'll be just fine. You're gonna make it. All right, right now I am getting this thing ready. We have it completely ready to dip. The paint is in there. When you put it in the water, it goes super, super slow. Just 
As if you were going to ask somebody out on a date. Take your time and do it correctly. Or else you will screw it up. And when you are dipping, you can do some slight swirls, some movement back and forth to get the exact paint that you want. Then shake it off in the bottom, get all the top layer of paint away from the bottle. As you pull it up, you're going to have a nice clean pull. Oh my gosh, look how good that looks. That is amazing. Oh wow, that is awesome. Oh man, look at that saturation. Look at that nice blend. Oh yeah, that looks real good. Hey guys, the Hydro Flask is done. It turned out brilliantly, no pun intended. This thing looks amazing. And before I show you the final reveal of this thing, obviously I want to give a shout out to all my sponsors out there. They are what make this video possible. So without further ado, my sponsors are... Yeah, what do you, what do you mean no, no sponsors? Again? This is gonna be a rough month. Okay, forget that. Okay, forget that. Uh, we don't need sponsors uh, for this video at all. Obviously, you guys are my sponsors. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything that you do. Be sure and like the video, uh, comment, let me know how you guys. <laughs> I know it's different than what I normally do, but whatever. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Now, check this flask out. It turned out absolutely brilliantly. Look at those colors on this thing, and it is not the humdrum boring stock colors that you are used to. This thing is unique in every way, shape, and form. And you guys really can't see, or the camera probably doesn't do justice to just how beautiful this thing is. I just love like all the colors like in there and stuff. It just looks cool how they all blended together and the swirls and other stuff. The only other thing that I am gonna do is I'm gonna add a coat of epoxy on there just to harden this thing out. And you still have the Hydro Flask logo if you still wanna like show off that you bought the expensive hydro flask if you're really into that type of thing anyway thank you guys so much for dropping by the channel today uh hope you guys enjoyed the crap out of it i know it was different it's not what you're used to but i hope you enjoyed it anyway uh take it easy good luck i'm out of here no this way this way i'm out i'm out of here <laughs>